Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel, The Holistic Boss. It's Coach Renee, your holistic health and wellness strategist. I educate, motivate, inspire women just like you over 40 into taking back control of her health and her well-being when it comes to the mind, the body, and the soul. And how do I do that? I share my delicious recipes when it comes to healthy liquids, healthy meals, fun, fitness, exercise for the physical body, and also inspirational quotes. I share all of these things with you that's going to inspire you into taking some form of action for your health and your well-being. So you can get those extra pounds off, so you can balance those hormones and sleep peacefully during the night, so you can just have the energy to thrive every single day if you want to all right in today's video i am going to show you how to make some applesauce pancakes that are dairy free and gluten free and it may not sound so appealing to you but it is a good and these are some of the things that you will learn as you transition from the conventional way of living your life to the holistic way of life because holistic means to include all of you to nourish your mind your body and your soul and to do that to be able to live your holistic life your best life some things are going to have to change you're going to have to modify some things in your eating and in your drinking habits when it comes to fresh juices delicious smoothies and simple delicious healthy power packed meals so if that sounds like fun excitement to you let's get into this we're going to make some apple sauce pancakes and they are gluten and dairy free and some people are there are dairy free and i will give you some tips on why it's good to start thinking about that process of eliminating some of these five foods that I'm going to be sharing with you okay and one of them is a dairy right all right so actually I've already put in the ingredients the liquid ingredients and the flour so I did it separately the video got cut off I'm just going to be authentic with you the video got cut off so I had to start over it's okay all right but anyway so what I did <clears throat> I started off with the liquids right the liquids which was a egg replacer I use egg replacer that's gluten-free and I use one tablespoon of this egg replacer you can find this in your local health food market um, you can find it in Whole Foods Market you can find it at your local Sprouts if you have a Sprouts any of your um, grocery stores should have this you just ask the grocer and they'll be happy to show you so I use a tablespoon of that next I put in some coconut milk which is dairy free and you can use almond milk you can use hemp milk um, they have rice milk you know so any milk that is dairy free when you are trying to go dairy free coconut milk is my go-to milk that i use when i'm making baking um sometimes i just use uh distilled water as well because that works too um, a lot of things you will learn as you start your journey towards holistic living optimal health and well-being right so uh, those are the oh and uh, the i used also a teaspoon of non-alcoholic vanilla get it some flavor non-alcoholic vanilla um, and then I used two tablespoons of extra aversion avocado oil extra virgin avocado oil and I talked about in one of my short videos how we need to give our bodies a complete oil change from the non-healthy oils like vegetable oil soybean oil all those unhealthy oils that are not that is not doing our body any favors any good right so I use two tablespoons of that in my liquid and that is the liquid that made up this 
um, batter. That's what it looks like. If you can see that, didn't pour it out, almost. And then for the dry, uh, the dry ingredients, I used all-purpose uh, baking flour, all-purpose baking flour. It's gluten-free as well. When you see the GF here, right there, that's gluten-free, right? For those that you, of you don't know. And when I choose and select my dry ingredients or dry foods that come in a package or a bag, if I have to use a package or a bag, I typically use for ingredients, look for ingredients that has, for packages that has five or less ingredients in it. If, and sometimes six, I'll go six or less. Anything over seven, eight, nine, ten, all those ingredients, even if it says it's healthy, you have to be cautious, right? Because sometimes they substitute those healthy ingredients for something else that may not be so healthy. So you want to be cautious and cognizant of that. Then I used, next I used, um, and I didn't measure the baking flour. I didn't measure that. And then the ba for the baking powder, I, I used a grain-free baking powder. It's also gluten-free and corn-free, right? For those of you who may have allergies to corn and gluten, you may not know that you have allergies to gluten, but many of you probably do. And I will go into that later about the gluten and where you find gluten. So this is cassava flour. And cassava flour... Ba uh, I'm sorry, baking powder, cassava baking powder is high resistant, right? It's a high resistant starch and the content, it, it may help with weight loss. And, 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 and my, the meals that I share with you and the liquids that I share with you on my, my, my videos um, is, is geared for a purpose, right? It's intentional the things that I'm sharing with you because if you stick with the process and you learn to cook healthier, you learn to drink healthier drinks, this could be the beginning of your natural weight loss. So I want you to remember that. So all these ingredients I'm using for a reason, intentional for an intentional purpose to help you, right? With your natural weight loss. Um, and it also can improve uh, this Bacon powder can also improve gut health. So a lot of you may have issues with your gut out there. And so we want to get our gut in order as well. And that's another video, right? Okay, next, the next dry ingredient that I used was xanthan gum. Xanthan gum is a thickener. It's used in pastries, cookies, cakes to thicken up the flour, right? Um, if it ha if the flour already has xanthan gum in it, you will not. It is not necessary to use any xanthan gum. So I use a fourth of a teaspoon of xanthan gum in, in the flour, and I also also use a fourth of a teaspoon teaspoon of salt. All right. So that's the dry ingredients, and now. I have all of my dry ingredients. That's what it looks like. So I'm getting ready to pour in uh, the liquid. The liquid that I mixed in. I'm going to pour that in. My egg batter, egg replacement batter into the dry ingredients, right? And this is an applesauce pancakes, right? All right. So, we pour all of the dry, I mean, I'm sorry, all the liquid ingredients into the mixture of uh, the dry ingredients. All right, so now we got all the liquid ingredients inside the dry ingredients, and we are going to mix that up. We're going to mix that up. While I'm mixing that up, I'm going to turn on my skillet and let the skillet be heating up, right? I'm going to turn that on so the skillet can get nice and hot before I pour my avocado oil in there. So once we mix up the, the batter, now I'm going to add some more, some coconut milk, right? Some coconut milk. Coconut milk. 
do that. There's no added sugar in this coconut milk that I'm using. So we're gonna pour that. And depending on how you like your pancake, pancakes, you want, that's how you, you know, you weigh out how much liquid you pour in here, how much milk you pour in here, coconut milk or almond milk or whichever non-dairy milk you want to use, right? You determine that. I like my pancakes kind of thick, right? That's how I like my pancakes. Um, not too thick where I can't cut the knife through it, but thick enough to I don't like them soupy. You know, my, pancake, my pancake batter soupy, right? I like it just thick enough. So we're gonna stir that up nicely. And it's looking very beautiful. One thing I noticed about when you cook, you always want to talk positive about your cooking, your whatever you're preparing. You just imagine, you know, because it's all about the words. It's all about what you're saying, right? All about words. Tell it. Say this is the most beautiful batter that I am making. And when you say that, it comes out beautifully. So, this is what the batter looks like. So far, it's like regular pancake batter to me, right? And I like it, like I said, you know, so this looks like a nice consistency for me. So I don't need to add any anymore. I don't think, let's see. No, I don't think I need to add no more milk, any more milk, because that's what's going to be nice for me. So, okay, so while that's, while my skillet is heating up, I'm going to just give you, let's see, no, I think it's time to pour in. Now I'm going to pour, I think it's time to pour my avocado oil. So I'm gonna pour in some avocado oil in the skillet and make it, you know, nice and even around the entire skillet so we won't have no burns. We just want it nice and even and it seems like I'm pouring a whole bottle in here, I know, but I promise you I'm not. It's just the way that it comes out, so. Let's see, so I'm gonna swish that around a bit. You want it to be nice and even so your pancake batter can cook nice and even, right? Uh, okay, turn that down just a little bit. Okay, so once that heats up, then I'll start putting in the batter. Yeah, that looks like, that looks right. So I don't know how many pancakes this will make, but we'll find out shortly. Anyway, I wanna talk a little bit about um, why I use the ingredients that I'm using, right? Why it's important that we give our body um, uh, a dairy break, a sugar break. And the reason why I use applesauce as a replacer, a sugar replacer, right? I use applesauce to replace the sugar because nine times out of 10, we're gonna wanna add syrup, right? And when we add syrup on top of sugar, that's double the amount of sugar. We need to cut down on our sugar intake because sugar feeds cancer, right? And a whole lot of other illnesses, right? Diabetes and all of these other things. And we want to be mindful of what we are putting inside of our body. What are we eating? What's on that fork? What's on that spoon? Is it going to do our body some good or is it going to do our body some disjustice? Sugar, you know, we have, we, we, sugar is in everything. And um, so we want to at least minimize the amount of sugar that we intake on a regular basis 
to give our body a break so we can start the healing process with all of these healthy tips that I'm sharing with you, right? And, you know, so even, um, let's see if this is hot. I want to see hot. Let's see. Okay. I think I can now, but we just want to make sure this is hot enough so the pancakes can start doing their thing. Right? Yeah, so sugar, um, you know, we, we need to switch. There are healthier alternatives to sugar, like I said. And I'm not saying you have to just stop all your sugar right now because it's a process. Everything is a process and it takes time. You know, you, you, you have to give yourself time. And, um, and I know it's, 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 it's going to be like foreign to you, right? It's going to be like how do I make it without sugar? But if you stick with the process and take on some of the, the tips and resources and things that I share with you, then it's going to make more sense as you go through your, um, through this transitional phase, right? Um, and so normally I'll pour this into something else, but I'm just going to do this this way. Ooh, that's going to be a nice thick one. Applesauce pancakes, ladies. Applesauce pancakes. That's what this is. Gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free. That's a lot said. This looks like it's going to make about... maybe three and a half, <laughs> three and a half. And you know, when you, with these applesauce pancakes, you can have blueberries on top, strawberries on top, whatever your favorite fruit is, that's sugar, that's more sugar, right? But it's a natural sugar. So natural sugars are not as bad as added sugars. However, you still want to be mindful even with fruits, right? Because fruit, too much fruit, it's too much sugar. But natural sugar is much better than um, added sugar. And because we get sugar in everything that we probably eat out for sure. But I'm going to give you, I'm just going to put, I'm going to use all of this. So this is gonna make four pancakes. And you can double the ingredients for the size of your family. And um, yeah, so the size of your family, if it's, you know, depending on how many is in your family and whoever likes pancakes and wants pancakes, right? So I'm almost done because I, I wanna, Talk to you about, um, yeah, it's going to make nice, four nice, beautiful pancakes. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. So, let's put this over here, down. any batter, right? Any batter. I want to use all of it so I can get the full benefits of this. These gluten-free, applesauce, dairy-free, sugar-free pancakes. Okay. So, what I want to say is um that's a that's about the sugar so and if you want to use a syrup it's fine because i use syrup sometimes i don't it depends on what i'm having with the pancakes how the pancakes came out 
you know, I don't use it. But when I do, I will use a maple syrup, right? I will use a maple syrup. Um, I try to find the healthy thing I can find, even if it's a sweetener, right? <laughs> even if it's a sweetener. So, um, okay. So, I just want to talk about dairy for a minute. And... Dairy, there are, five top, there are five foods that I eliminated from my diet in order to drop my weight naturally. And it worked so well for me that people were asking me, what happened, Renee? How did you lose this so quickly? What did you do, right? But I was on a mission because I ended up in nutrition school because you know, I was dealing with some health issues and I didn't want to do the conventional way, you know, and so I went to nutrition school and got my certification as a health coach. And that's how I'm here today helping you, right? So the thing about dairy is which the top five things that we want to minimize and start the process of eliminating from our diet in order to get on this journey towards optimal health and well-being and heal our bodies naturally is dairy, sugar, pasta, bread, and red meat. Those are the five ingredients that I eliminated from my diet in order to drop the weight like hotcakes, right? Because it was wreaking havoc on my health and my well-being. And so I had to make a decision. Is it gonna be my health? Am I gonna to continue to suffer? Or do I wanna take medication? Or do I wanna go surgery? I had to make that decision for myself. And so, but I'm here to tell you that you first need to consult your doctor, of course. Your practitioner don't stop anything that you're doing in the way of your medication or whatever you're doing with your, your doctors. Please consult your healthcare practitioner before you start anything or try anything. I'm just simply here to share my story, how I healed my body naturally. And so I love what I do in helping other women heal their bodies naturally especially if it's not life-threatening, right? <coughs> Excuse me, got choked in my own saliva. <clears throat> so, <coughs> dairy, like I said, is, and, and most people are allergic or have allergies to the casein inside dairy. Dairy is cheese, milk, butter, yogurt, pudding, um, what else is dairy? Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what dairy is. It's a casein, which is a milk protein inside dairy products that people have allergies to, which make them lactose intolerant, right? Meaning that they can't, their bodies can't absorb that protein. And so, therefore, their body is fighting and trying to, you know, battle, um, battle this. And so, that's why I said that is one of the um, foods that you want to start minimizing and eventually eliminating until you give your body a break, right? At least 30 to 60 days. Give your body a break. Try that, right? But consult with your doctor, your physician, your practitioner before, right? Another thing that uh, people are struggling with is gluten and don't realize it. Gluten is in everything, everything. It's in pasta, it's in wheat, bread, it's even in ketchup. So this is why I try to explain to you 
to pay attention to the ingredients that is in the food products that you buy. Now we have no idea what's in what ingredients are in the food when we eat out, right? We're not going to ask every uh, chef or every waitress or waiter in the restaurant, "What's in here? What kind of oil did you put? What kind of this? What that?" Right? So it's sometimes you might just want to cook at home. But when you do go out, you know, they have gluten-free options on most restaurants have gluten-free options. So they cater to the, the restaurant market is now catering to individuals who have allergies, you know, peanut allergies, gluten allergies. And these allergies, if we're not careful, can turn into something that's not nice, right? And we don't want that which is why we have to take back control of our health and our well-being, right? And to jump back on the dairy for a minute, a lot of people don't realize that they have allergies to dairy, but they have issues, you know, with nasal congestion, wheezing, coughing. These are all symptoms of allergies that might be related to dairy products, right? And, you know, like sniffing and runny nose. You hear people sniffing all the time, they have a runny nose. They don't know, right? They just ignore it and think, oh. And it could be something from outside, environmental too, exact, you know? It's, it could be environmental also. And so, these things are wreaking havoc. You know, we've been eating them for so long and they're catching up with us, right? At this stage in our life. And ice cream. I was a fanatic of ice cream. I used to eat ice cream every night after dinner. I used to eat ice cream. That's how much I loved it. And I would fill it up to the max, to the cup, to the bowl and eat it and was in heaven, right? But that was my way of coping relaxing sometimes our eating habits have to deal with coping mechanisms what are we trying to a comfort level what is it's comforting that's what it is it's comforting to us right our ice cream was comforting to me and one day I stopped cold turkey I just stopped all that sugar all that dairy was wreaking havoc on my gut my immune system, it was causing allergies on my skin, dermatite, all that stuff, it builds up. Which is why we have to get to the root cause of the problem. And that's where I come in. I wanna help you get to the root cause of your weight gain and your weight sustain. Why is it sticking to you, right? We have to get to the root cause of the problem before we can attack the problem. We can't guess, we can't speculate. I'm not a doctor. I definitely can't diagnose. I don't diagnose, I don't prescribe medications. I'm not a doctor. But we can figure out what the root problems is and start the process of elimination. And once we start the process of elimination, that's when you are going to start see changes and feel those changes in your body. And one of the ways to start is eliminate some foods, right? Eliminate some foods. And there's many alternatives to the foods that we eliminate. And I demonstrated for you here just now about egg replacers, milk alternatives, grain-free bacon powder, right? Gluten-free flour and, you know, healthy oils and non-alcoholic vanilla, you know, all of these I've demonstrated. Now, I eat eggs. Eggs is not a dairy. It is part of the protein family. So a lot of people get that confused too. It's not a dairy. But, um, so you have to Pay attention to your body, right? Pay attention to your body. 
And when I do do eggs, I do soy free eggs. And I'll talk about soy when I talk about um, hormones in my upcoming video. Ooh, stay, stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll get notified when I do the video on hormones because that is going to be eye-opening for a lot of you. And, um, and I'll share my story about that when I do that video. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below if you have not already subscribed to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified. Give me a thumbs up too. If you like the content that I'm sharing with you, leave me a comment. You know, let me know if it's helping you, um, the things that I'm sharing, but that, that helps me help to help you more, right? I can, if you wanna hear um, about a specific topic, let me know that also in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to fit that into my schedule when I do these videos. But I'm just here as a vessel. I'm here as a messenger to help you, to help yourself. And that's all we can do, right? And these pancakes are looking amazing. So they're gonna cook on and we're gonna see what they look like. So just stay tuned for the outcome of these delicious applesauce, gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free pancakes. And we're gonna see exactly what that looks like. Okay, so these little beauties are ready. And here is the finishing touch. And they look so delicious. You know what? You do not have to drown these pancakes in syrup, right? You just put a little bit of syrup on and you swish it around, you turn it over. I know, I'm not trying to tell you how to eat, but I'm just trying to help you with the sugar intake, right? And you just turn them over. Look at that, how gorgeous, right? Nice and fluffy. So let's cut that up and see how the gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, applesauce pancakes came out. Let's see. Let's see, let's see what they taste like. They cut in very nicely. Very nicely cut. Look at that. You just never know, right, until you try different foods, different way of cooking, a healthier way of cooking, a healthier way of eating, and your body is gonna be saying, Yes! Right? Yes! Look at that. Let's taste it. Oh God, I thank you so much for this delicious applesauce pancakes. Help them to taste good to my palate. Help them to nourish this body that you created in me. All the muscles and cells and bones. Feed my body good. The body that you created in your holy name. Amen and amen, amen. All right, let's go and try this. Mm mm. Good. Mm. When I say they are good and fluffy, thick and tasty, just think about the ingredients inside applesauce. This has fiber in it, it has vitamins in it. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. I want you to know that I'm not exaggerating 
when I taste, when I create these healthy meals and I taste them, I will be transparent with you. If they're not good, I'm going to tell you, oh, they didn't come out so good. They don't taste so good. But when they're good, I'm going to tell you, they are good. This is good. So go try them. Have yourself a ball. Anyway, ladies, that's it. These are applesauce pancakes. Gluten-free, dairy-free, and sugar-free, with the exception of adding uh, syrup. I didn't cook with sugar, right? I didn't cook with dairy, and I didn't cook with gluten. Applesauce pancakes, amazingly good. You go have yourself an amazing day, wherever you are at this hour, night, morning, evening, or afternoon, make it good wherever you are. This is Coach Renee, your holistic health and wellness strategist. Until next time, take great care of yourself. Stay whole, healthy, and happy.